Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is April 12, 2021. And today is Monday morning. So welcome back, everybody. And looking at the highlights of the day. OMG, look at the financial markets. The Dow Jones went to record highs last Friday. And so the stock market rallying before corporate earnings. There's no major economic event scheduled for today. But as we look at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, the euro gains while the British pound continues to lose ground and as at the bottom of that range. Now looking at the indices, the Nasdaq trading on its highs while the Dow Jones rallies to new record highs last Friday. In terms of commodities, gold retraces after a nice rally while oil is slightly lower. Now looking at the individual stocks, Apple extending its rally and Microsoft at new record highs. So it's really the FANG stocks that have reawoken. And joining the fun is Bitcoin above 60,000. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're gonna first take a look at the Euro USD and you can see that this extended the rally and didn't really retrace much. 1890 is where we're at. Now this 1950, 1900-ish level is a decent resistance-ish level for the euro. Now looking at the GBP vis-a-vis -vis the dollar, now this is much weaker, okay? Now it is looking like it's setting itself up with a consolidation at this lower level, 136.90-ish level. If we look at a longer time frame at a daily chart, we'll see that we did have a consolidation here quite some time ago, you know, back in January. So this is a decent level for it to bounce off of. So just be aware of that. Now jumping into commodities, forward looking at the gold, gold retracing below 1748, that was our level, that's our double top at 1755. Now I do believe we'll be trading around this area. We're gonna be consolidating between 1755 and then 1739. I think we're at that bottom of that range there right now. Now jumping into oil, this is a nice move. 59.55 earlier today and then just breaking down to that 59-ish level. Now, it's a tight range, okay? There's not much going on in the price of oil as things are consolidating themselves. You could see that. I mean, it's it's been really between 59.80 and 59.30 for the longest time. So with that said, just be aware of it, okay? If it does break further down, that could get something interesting. Now, jumping into the Dow Jones, this is what we're talking about. Late last Friday, going into the close, we had this rally to 33,683. Now, in pre-market, we're selling off here. Okay, this is just a tapering off, I would call it, okay, for a possible move up on the upside. Okay, this could rally continuously on the upside back to 33,683. And what's following up with this is the stocks. Okay, this is what I like about it. And that's why I'm still bullish on the markets. Now looking at the NASDAQ, we're looking at a daily chart. And you can see pretty much we're at our highs, 13,800-ish level right there. And be interesting to see if this does push higher or it will make this double top. Now when you look at the stocks, they're going along. If you look at Apple, continuously going to 130. If you look at Microsoft, also all-time records highs, 254. We bounce above that 241. If we look at Facebook, also that 310 really hovering above that line. And Amazon as well. So the FANG stocks are still very strong and showing some extension into this move. Now this may be dress up right before corporate earnings, but that's something to consider. Now looking at Alcoa. Also gaining here, and lastly, JP Morgan. So the stocks are following through with the markets, okay? So there's an extension to that. It'd be interesting to see how it unfolds later today. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, trading above 60K, okay? Hitting that 61,000 double top. So this could also get very interesting if it doesn't break above it, but it does look like it wants to go higher. So something to consider later today. If you do see it push above that 61,300-ish level, could be interesting and follow through and hitting new record highs. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.